Okay, so now the timeline is ready to be exported. So what I'm going to do is export this entire timeline, including my audio and my music. To do that, I go um, to this button on the top right corner, which is share. And what I want to do is actually save it as a file. I'm just going to change the title at the top here. And I can preview the video in here. And I just want to double check all of these settings. So tags, you can remove, you don't need them. And you can just export the audio only or the video and the audio. The resolution you always want to select 1080p because this is the best resolution available for, for iMovie. You want to select high or you could select best. Um, and that'll actually create a large file size, but it will be good quality. You can reduce the file size if you need, because you can see that there's a big difference here in the size. So you can just leave it at high. You can always customize the size and just slide this depending on how big you want your file. So I'm just going to leave it at high and I'm just going to leave it at better quality. And then I click next. And this will ask me where do I want to save my video. So I'm just going to save it in the folder where I have all of my other footage saved. So I'm just going to click save and that's exporting the video right now. So you can see the video is exporting because these extra files have come up in the folder. So when it finishes exporting, these files will actually disappear and then just the MP4 will remain. And this is the progress bar here telling me that it's almost done. Okay, so my video has now been exported. This icon up here has said that my video has been successful. And if I wanted to preview it, I can double click and preview the video here. And we can just go full screen and preview the video. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to edit your own video. So this is going to be the first video. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to edit your own videos together. So I've already recorded one video and this will be the second video that will be appearing in the timeline. So now you know how to import your videos into iMovie, find images, music and stock videos online, download them and import them into your project, edit them into your timeline and export them into one video.